Hello and welcome to my messy desk. I uh, wanted to show you some stuff that I've been uh, working on that uh, I'm probably going to end up uh, using myself but I'm also going to put on my uh, Tindy store in case these are of use to anybody else. So I noticed on some uh, American rocketry uh, groups that people are using these uh, Omron uh, SS5GL switches as their sort of remove before flight uh, power disabling switches. So um, I was quite interested to uh, to see uh, what they were like. And so I've come up with this little design of my own, using my beloved FreeCAD, of course, uh, to create a kind of pull-pin uh, switch. Um, they're interesting, these switches, that you can you can wire them up to be... Uh, you can, If I connect a wire to here and here, then basically when the switch is released, these are connected. Um, so uh, sort of uh, uh, push to break. Um, but also if I connect here to here, you can do uh, push to make type circuits. So they're pretty adaptable. Um, so, um, the yeah, they're quite interesting. This is kind of the standard model uh, that I've come up with. It's a little case and what I've done is uh, for both of these and I'll talk about what this one is later. I've designed this in such a way that the the holes to uh, mount the switch uh, to the device are slightly oversized so there's a little bit of play uh, in the switch when you first fit it and the reason for that is is that you can uh, adjust the amount of friction on the uh, three millimeter um, pin the back of the pin is always in contact uh, on the inside of the plastic in fact there's a little printed uh, sort of groove for it to travel through and um, so moving the switch ever so slightly and we're talking a fraction of a millimeter here allows you to create quite a stiff pin so this is quite a stiff pin i would be happy with that in a rocket that's not going to kind of fall out that's definitely going to lead to be kind of pulled out and um, it's certainly not going to come out under its own steam but yeah it's relatively straightforward to kind of pull it out and reinsert it um, albeit not with a camera in front of your face when you try to make a video. Um, yeah, so, um, but also I could have set this, so I could have pull, pushed the switch slightly further away to make it a much looser fit, um, if that's something you're after. The idea is is that you, uh, I'll supply these with the 3D printed case, uh, a pill of about this length, which is about 18 millimeters, which I think is a good compromise. If you're using that in a rocket, and that's like the radius of the rocket, you're talking a very big rocket there, um, but yeah, any sort of three millimeter shaft uh, will go through here quite happily and uh, deploy the switch. Um, but yeah, my idea is that you put the pin in, you uh, attach the little uh, supplied M2 bolts, and then you move the switch backwards and forwards as you tighten these up to get the fit and the feel that you want. Then what I would do, and what I've done on the other one, for example, is I've put a tiny little drop of super glue here and a tiny little drop of super glue there, just basically not structurally, but just to hold the switch when you take the bolts out, because then you can use the bolts to mount through um into your device so yeah um uh yeah pretty pretty kind of cool the uh, other thing i've spent a bit of time on is developing the uh the the sort of head of the pill um, and the reason i've done that is for a few reasons um I want there to be a hole all the way through it. Um, it's a bit wide to put like a key ring through, but um, what I would do is put a little loop of uh, like uh, some some uh, thread through there um, or um, some, uh, what's it called? The uh, snazzy stuff that we used for our, what's it called? What's it called? Not Kydex. What's it called? This stuff. Aramid. That kind of stuff, you know, Kevlar, that's the word. Yeah, you could put a little Kevlar loop uh, through there, and then you could put a key ring through that. Uh, but you might wonder what these grooves are for. So, for an example, say this is your pull pin, and I've just got a little bit of steel, and it's just going in through a hole through here. Um, say this was a rocket, and it had a loads code and other stuff at this end. You could, of course, you could, you could when you're walking from, like, your car or, where, or the bench where you've rigged up your rocket, and you've taken it to the... Uh, our RSO for inspection or something. You might want to put a little band around it like this, so that it, so that basically there's no chance of that kind of uh, coming out by accident. But of course, if you mount that on the launch rail, uh, you might not be able to get this off because your launch lugs might be in the way. So the other way that you can secure this pin is oh, this is hard through the camera. Is uh, you can bind it basically by putting the band round um, and putting the band over these two side grooves and then that's really really nice and secure and has the added advantage that you can take this off without removing uh the rail uh, or the rocket from the rail 
Uh, yeah, so uh, I think that's kind of a nice design that's nice and adaptable for uh, lots of different sort of applications. Okay, finally, what's this other version? So, uh, I've been, I'm trying to develop a uh, system uh, for dropping payloads where the pin will stay attached to a drone, a quadcopter. Uh, this uh, will drop away, attach to a payload, and this, the timing of this pin leaving sets up some uh, interrupts, some stuff in code, and, and allows some stuff to happen. Um, so, one of the things I was finding, that if you put quite a lot of weight on the payload on this as it comes out it tends to bind a little bit and gets a bit sticky so this one basically has an extended kind of tunnel and this is set up really 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 loose and um, so i've moved the switch almost as far back as it will go so there's very little tension on the switch a couple of blobs of super glue hold it in place so i can take the bolts in and out and um, but yeah this will this will then fall away and the tunnel at the top here stops it from binding so it always uh, deploys cleanly i i spent hours and hours and hours testing this with uh, different weighted payloads on it speaking of weighted payloads it requires a payload attached to this um of around 40 grams including the sort of five gram weight of the um of the switch mechanism uh to fully kind of pull it off so to give you an example like this this little uh, screwdriver uh, attachment out of my drill will pull it off absolutely consistently every time so you're not talking very much weight at all and um, by the time you've added um you know a small payload you, you you're going to be pretty much there so yeah um that's that's the premise they uh, seem to work pretty flawlessly pretty pleased with the design and uh, i'm going to chuck some up on tindy and um, so watch this space okay thanks for watching Ta -ta!